Hi, uh, my name is uh, Shudang Zhang. I'm the application engineer in, in uh, IDT uh, Timing Group. Uh, today, I'm going to introduce you to the uh, Versa Club 5 evaluation board. Uh, the board comes with the in the box a full package. Um, first of all, of course, this board is out of the uh, static uh, bag. Um, so this is a board with the USB cable. So the board. Um, has two power systems. As you can see, there are two red banana jacks and one red, uh, one black uh, banana jack for uh, for the power return. And in, also, we support the USB power for for the whole board. So, for this demonstration, I'm going to use the the USB power because this is the first. Uh, power supply we want to recommend you to use. It's easy. You don't need um, to connect the cables to the bench power supply. Now here uh, we have the VersaClock 5 uh, timing commander GUI open up in the computer. And then right now, the board is not connected to the to the software, so you can you can sh see um, there's no sign of connection of communication between the software and the board. Now let's make a connection to the to the board, the USB cable that comes with the box, and one side plug into the USB connector of the PC, and then the other side goes to the board, uh, the, the mini USB connector. Now, up to this point, uh, we're still not seeing the connection because we need to click on, on this uh, chip symbol sign to make the connection. But before I do that, I want to show you the default frequency output from the board. Now, here is the scope with the SMA connectors, uh, cables. I'm going to connect this to the output one of the board. As you can see on the uh, scope screen, there is already 100 megahertz LVC MOS differential output already. As you can see, so this is the default output from, from the chip, output 1 and 1B. One As you can see, if I disconnect the power, there's no output. And then when I connect to the power, the output is coming out right away. That's the default output. Now, on this very same output, if I, in the VersaClock 5 timing commander GUI, if I change that uh, output to 125 megahertz. Um, you're going to see the, the frequency change. Right now, this is the point I think I need to make the connection to the board so that the configuration can be downloaded into the chip. So first I clip, click on the, uh, the, the chip sign. And then, as you can see, this area becomes green which is a sign of uh, successful connection to the board. Now, on the right side of this sign, um, if you hover the mouse onto the sign, you can see it write all registers to the chip. Right now, I have 25 megahertz crystal input. I entered 25 in the in input frequency box. And then on the output frequency box for output 1, I have entered 125 megahertz. Now, once I write this uh, configuration into the chip, you're going to see the change on the uh, screen, on the scope screen. Now, this, the GUI shows write all has completed. Uh, the scope screen should, sh should have shown the 125 megahertz output from, that, um, from the default 100 megahertz. So the configuration of the board is very easy. Once we have a, a good connection, um, 
the uh, desired output frequency can be immediate, immediately um, displayed. We can also use the bench power supply to power the board. Uh, this, this red, two red uh, banana jacks and one black banana jacks are f uh, for uh, the bench power supply. If we use this, this cable from the bench power supply to make the connection, Uh, we can just so this is a green cable, but still we use it as the uh, power supply, uh, the 3.3 uh, volts, and then th this is for the uh, return, the power return, uh, and in the same time, the USB cable can still uh, be connected for the data communication. The power supply is is supplied is uh, provided by the the connectors. Although we need to make the jumpers. We know uh, the jumpers will, will make the selections between the USB power and the jack power. In this case, for example, as you can see the labels on, on, on this connector, the VDD, VDDD underscore J uh, means uh, the power is coming from the, the jack. So we need to move the connector into the, other, the left side. The, and it's the same move for the, all the other uh, jumpers to make the power supply switch. Uh, that's, that's for the power supply. And then I think that concludes the introduction to the VersoCloud 5 evaluation board. Thank you very much for your time to uh, uh, listen to this video. Thank you.